Hello and welcome to Forest Tech. So October 2018 is the most awaited conference of the year. Apple with its main and most awaited event. So we bring you highlights of some of the things worth noticing on this event. So first off, we have the new MacBook Air. After years of waiting, it is finally here. Mainly, the MacBook Air gives a good buy to old display and brings in the newer, more improved and more detailed Retina display. It is slimmer, it's lighter, it's thinner and a lot smaller as well. We've got the butterfly keyboard, two multifunctional Thunderbolts for power, USB and etc. Now it contains a very nominal yet improved 8th generation 1.6 GHz dual core processor which is more suitable for day-to-day -day tasks than we have an option to choose from 128 gigs or 256 gigs of storage. It does have an 8 GB DDR3 RAM which is upgradable to 16 gigs, a Touch ID and all of that with a 128 gigs of storage option for $1199 and 256 gigs of storage option for $1399. Now I believe that's quite expensive and that's what I thought initially for a machine that will only be suitable to a certain student class or a specific niche of maybe businessmen or light to medium users this will be a slightly expensive price tag to go with. If you remember, we have the very old Mac Mini which was being liked for its tiny form factor in the days when it was launched, but was criticized for its performance by a whole lot of community. This time it looks like a game changer. The Mac Mini starts with 8 gen, 4 cores and thankfully 6 core processor as well, comes with both i5 and i7 options. Have a 32 GB and 64 GB of DDR4 RAM which is there in the Mac Mini. And along that we get the SSD storage of up to 2TB. Lots of modern ports with an old Ethernet port as well. HDMI 2, multifunctional Thunderbolt 3 for multiple displays, external GPU, charging and even stereo out. Now the prices of these Mac Mini compare to what Apple offered years ago is a lot more decent. It's a lot more value for a Mac device. Now that starts from base model at $799 and $1099 and further goes up depending on the customization of the hardware that you opt for. Then another great highlight of this event was the new iPad Pro 11 inch and the 12.9 inch which is a size of 8.5 by 11 inch of paper, which is actually quite good. Now it contains A12X, bionic chip, face recognition, iPhone-like gesture control with no home button, arrival of the USB-C that sports charging out as well for your iPhones. Then we have the redesigned Apple Pencil with magnetic attachments and wireless charging for the iPad Pro itself. So the 11 inch iPad Pro starts with $799 and the 12.9 inch version starts from $999. So these were the three revisions Apple came up with this October 2018. So let's appreciate it. Until detailed review, I wish you have a great evening. Hit like and subscribe if you like the video. Be cool, calm and collected. Till again, 4 Tech, signing out.